Hey friends, Amy from Amy's Got Life Coaching, just coming in to talk a little bit more about how you know when you've had enough to eat or stopping it enough. Um, to sort of piggyback on the other the other uh, video that I had submitted, that basically when knowing when we had enough, if you if you're not sure what that looks like for you, go ahead and listen to that. It talks a little bit about that. But one of the things that I know, um, and scientifically, is that it takes about 20 minutes for our brain to register that our di that our body is digesting food. So very often we are digesting the food, but we're not always aware of it. So what I what I've learned to do as a result of that scenario, because that does happen from time to time, where we're basically. Um, you know, just trucking along and, and you don't realize that you've had enough until, guess what, it's too late. All of a sudden you're like, oh, my stomach hurts or like, oh, I definitely blew it. I went past, I went past, you know, I went, I'm at full now. I'm at a, if you're looking at a number line and we want to try to stop at like the plus two, at, you know, past the zero, you're at like a six or seven and you're like, oh, I got to unbuckle the pants. And how'd that happen? I was trying to be, I was really trying to notice. And again, this is a skill. It just takes practice and attention. So one of the ways to help with that is to just slow down your eating. And so I did a post uh, recently about chopsticks. So one of the ways, there's many different ways that you can try to intentionally slow down your eating. One is, um, yeah, grab some chopsticks. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, kind of clumsy with them and it takes it's like it forces you to just sort of take a little minute get the food balanced and then to to get it into the into my mouth um and that just forces my body to slow down and also take smaller bites which is actually not a bad thing um another way another little hack is to eat with your non-dominant hand that's been um really fun so what i'll do is i have i wear hair ties sometimes and so i'll put a hair tie on my left hand to remind me oh that's the one that i'm going to um I'm to, either for this meal, I'm going to plan to eat with my left hand. For me, it's left. Um, and that it's hysterical because of course I get, I'm not like very coordinated anyway, but with my left hand for sure not. So it definitely slows myself down. Sometimes just putting your fork down between bites. Again, I either do something like a little note on my phone or I'll put like a post-it up on my refrigerator to remind me, oh yeah, this meal, I'm going to try to slow myself down by putting my fork down between bites. Um, sometimes to slow myself down, I will just um, eat not distracted. Now that sort of um, it so it seems counterintuitive, but very often we um, will overeat because we are not really paying attention to our food. And when we are sort of only thinking about the food instead of what's on the phone or what's on the TV, it does force us to sort of slow down and then appreciate the food. So another way to slow down is, and I think this is really, really fun, and that is especially if it's a food that you love, just take a minute and for appreciation. Notice the smell, notice the texture, notice the color or combination of colors. Just sit in some appreciation for it and just kind of slow your brain down. And it's such a much more enjoyable experience anyway. Um, and you will end up most likely eating less. So those are some ideas. I have some more in the post um, that uh, is in the chopsticks post if you want to take a look at that. And um, these are some things that we talk about. Those are some basically weight loss tools that I use in my coaching practice. We also dive into mindset tools, which have more to do with why we are choosing to eat when we are not physically hungry. That's pretty much where I spend most of the time because that tends to be why we end up overeating in the first place. Um, stopping at enough is a skill, but it's something that we can absolutely develop. And anyone can do that at any time. When it comes to figuring out and getting to the bottom of why we're eat, choosing to eat and when we're not physically hungry, that takes a little more skill, a little more patience, a little more intuition, um, introspection, and that's what I love to unpack and help my clients with. So if you're interested in coaching, please check out my um, website that's below, as well as any of the posts that you have been seeing coming through. And if you want to schedule a just a, a free no obligation consultation it takes about an hour we talk about all what coaching is involved and how what it looks like um you can check out my calendar link all right take care